Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you all how to convert an image file into a PDF file. In this folder here I have an image called frog1.png and I will be converting it into a PDF file. So let's get started. From pill import image import OS. In this video we'll be using two modules image and OS. So moving on file name is equal to the path of your image. Save it into a variable. It will be used later on, so it will come in handy. Now we will be loading the image using the image module. im is equal to image.open. Inside the open function, pass in file name. After this, if im.mode is equal to RGBA, then IM is equal to IM dot convert RGB. What this if statement is doing is it is checking the mode of the image. If the mode is RGBA, it will convert it using the convert function to RGB. This is being done because the code we are writing, it will be able to convert the image file into a PDF file if the mode of the image is RGB and not RGBA. So this statement is just to make sure that even if your image is in RGBA mode, it will convert it into, R into RGB and it will continue to uh, run the code and successfully convert your image into a PDF file. And now we'll be assigning a new path for the PDF file we'll be creating after the conversion. So new file name is equal to I'll be keeping the same path and the same name I, I'll just change the extension to PDF if you want you can use another path or another name for your file but do remember to write this line of code if not os.path.exists pass in new file name what this line will do is that it will check if your file name the path if it exists or not if it exists it means that the path is uh, it means that the file already exists and you don't want to overwrite your existing files so this will stop that from happening but if the file does not exist you're okay to move on with your code so this if statement is quite handy to make sure you don't overwrite your existing files so make sure that uh, this if statement is inside your code. And finally, im.save. Now the save function will take in three par parameters. The first one is new file name. It needs to know where the PDF file needs to be stored. So pass in new file name. After this, it needs to know the format in which it will be storing. So pass in PDF. And finally, Pa the final parameter we're using is resolution so I'll just keep it as at 100 and save it let's run this let me open the folder and here you can see that the frog1 image has been changed to a frog1 PDF let me open this and you can see that now the image has been converted into a PDF file I think this code is quite useful and it will come in handy to everyone who wants to convert an image file into a PDF file. Also, if you see the code, it's pretty simple. I can just run, run through the code one more time. So first, we're loading up the image using the open function. Then we're checking if the image mode is RGBA. If it is, we'll convert it into RGB. And then we're um, assigning a new path for the PDF file, which we'll be creating. And then we check if the new file name, which we assigned, exists. If it doesn't exist, we go on to save our new file in the PDF format and that's it basically it's very simple and it's very easy to use and I think it's very useful as well so if you found this video useful please like and share the video if you have any questions please comment below and subscribe for future videos thank you very much for watching